It is 6.57. Time now for our Sunrise Smart Start. We are following breaking news this morning. The Ontario County Sheriff's Office investigating an accident that killed an off-duty Rochester police officer. It happened on Woolhouse Road in Canandaigua just after 8 p.m. Officials say the RPD officer, 44-year-old Aaron Coletti, was riding his bike with his 14-year-old when a pickup truck hit him. His son suffered minor injuries. He is survived by his wife and four children. Beginning today, the Finger Lakes region will move forward with phase three of reopening. That means indoor dining at restaurants and personal care businesses like tattoo shops and nail salons can reopen. Guidelines will include 50% crowd capacity, social distancing, and face coverings. As you know, the pandemic has been devastating for many small businesses, but one local nonprofit is working hard to help out. The Venture Jobs Foundation supports Rochester business owners in underserved neighborhoods. It's helped them through loan programs, but also education and mentoring. The foundation is hoping to launch two new programs by the end of the year. The University of Rochester Medical Center and Rochester Regional Health is starting a first trial for a COVID-19 vaccine. Local volunteers in the trial got their first shot yesterday. 90 healthy people are taking part in the two-year study that will test the effectiveness of a vaccine developed by Pfizer and BioNTech. Right now, two different variations of that vaccine are being tested to find the most effective solution. Well, there is now another piece of artwork and activism in downtown Rochester. A crew led by local artist Sean Dunwoody painted Black Lives Matter in bold blue letters down Court Street. You might have seen this. It is located right next to the MLK Jr. Memorial Park. Well, I'll tell you what, Josh, uh, great way to head down there and check it out or just about anywhere else as well. That's right. Whatever you want to do outside, today will be uh, invigorating for outside activities with uh, fresh air in place. Temperatures largely in the mid-60s to near 70 for highs. There will be a mixture of sunshine and puffy fair weather cumulus clouds. An isolated rogue shower is possible over the higher terrain, but it's more the exception rather than the rule. And the wind goes northerly later tonight. That's really going to usher in a cool air mass for our weekend. There's a live look at Rochester uh, from this morning. You can see that breeze coming in and uh, there's the cold front that we're watching back to our north and west for uh, the drop in temperature for your Saturday. But for today, not too hot, not too cold, just right. Your top temp in the upper 60s to near 70 with plenty of sun. It looks great. Thank you so much and thank you for watching News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update coming up in 25 minutes. CBS This Morning starts right now. Be safe and have a great day.